those black box warnings, again, very helpful, right? Very helpful guidance to clinicians, especially clinicians who are not as experienced in taking care of older patients or people living with dementia. But in all cases, you're considering the individual circumstance and you consider that as guidance. But also, black box warnings were based on research conducted some time ago, and it, it is really imperative on the clinician to maintain their currency with what we know to be true now. If you consider patients with dementia when those studies were done, we were not nearly as well characterized in terms of um, patients' specific type of dementia. We did not have nearly as much information about their other conditions that may have been at play. And so even the eligibility or inclusion in those trials is not nearly what we would include in a trial today. Some of the more um, helpful resources tend to be either looking at trials yourself if you have access. Many health systems use things like UpToDate, which may be helpful as well, but truly it is a matter of staying current. Very fortunate to be in an academic medical center, so I know that that's more on the forefront from my practice, but Integrated Memory Care as a practice holds case conference every month and we're able to then stay current with what we know to be the most helpful literature and um, looking at trials that included patients that look like our patients, which is always one of the considerations just in evidence-based practice broadly.